Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are obviously filming our back to school look. This is the look that I created for it. I'm wearing my glasses, one, because my eyes hurt really bad because I haven't been wearing my glasses, and two, I just wanted to show you that you could totally wear this look with glasses. For this look, I would say it's aimed more towards high school, college girls as opposed to like middle school. If you're in middle school, I would really say just throw on maybe some lip gloss and a little bit of mascara. But in real life, I would say don't even wear makeup because I didn't wear makeup until I was a junior in high school. And yeah, you don't really need to cover your perfect skin with foundation or anything like that. So work with what you got, girl, and don't put on makeup. But if you're going to high school or you're going to college and you just want to look good, Kind of, you know, the first two weeks of school is when it really matters. Because then, you know, sometimes you just don't have time for it. So, um, I would say this look is good for the first month of school when you're, you know, trying to impress those people. But me, when I would go to school, I would literally roll out of bed, throw my hair up on top of my head, wear sweats and a t-shirt, and just go. Because I did not care. <laughs> it's nice, like I said, the first couple of weeks of school to let people see, you know, your your polished side and then you can let them see the real you. I used all drugstore products because I wanted to make it affordable and I wanted you guys to be able to recreate the look if you wanted to. It's super super easy. It probably took me 9-10 minutes top to do this so it's great if you're in a rush in the morning. Remember you can tweak it to your specifications if you don't want to use a foundation and you want to use a BB cream. Be my guess but you know me I like foundations. So if you guys want to see how to get this a back to school look, then just keep watching the video. Thanks guys! <laughs> okay, so we are jumping in. We're jumping right into this video and we are liking it. She likes it. You like it. So the first thing I'm going to do is prep my face with this Evian Moisture Spray. It just moisturizes your face and tones at the same time. And then we're moving right on to primer. Today I'm going to be using the NYX Shine Killer because nobody likes a greasy face when they got to go to school, right? Right. So after we're done serenading our foundations, I'm actually going to mix two colors together and apply those with a damp beauty blender because a beauty blender will help everything go on super duper fast. And I'm just popping the lighter color on first and then the darker color on top because this is just the easiest way for me to mix them together. You can mix them on your hand, your face, wherever you want to mix them, girl. Just get them things on your face. And remember, like I said in the beginning, if you want to switch this out for a BB cream, be my guest. Skin check. Moving on to brows, I'm gonna use the power of editing and get those things done just like that. Moving on to our eyes, I'm gonna use the Maybelline The Nudes palette and I'm gonna use this, oh no she didn't, knock my light over. <laughs> I'm gonna use the lightest color and I'm gonna apply that to my brow bone. Then we're gonna go ahead and go back into the palette and I'm gonna pick up this nice chocolatey color here. It's got a little shimmer so it does blend out super duper easy. And then we're just gonna apply that to our crease. And then lastly, I'm gonna pick up this kind of vanilla color and pack that all over the lid. Taking that same shimmery white we used to highlight our brow bone, I'm going to pop that in the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten everything up. And we're moving on to lashes. So I'm going to curl my lashes because we're going to skip falsies because I'm just too tired in the morning for all of that. And sometimes this happens to me where I get all freaked out, but I get it together and I end up curling my lashes. And then I'm going to just apply a couple coats generously of my favorite mascaras. So after we're done with lashes, we just have to sing a song because, duh, <laughs> we're moving straight on to concealer. I'm using the NYX Photogenic in, I'm not sure the color, but you know I have that listed down below. And I like to apply it generously like this because it really brightens up your face and highlights and it covers your dark circles a lot better. And this is real time blending right here. I didn't edit it or speed it up. I just wanted you guys to see how fast it is with a blend <laughs> with a beauty blender to blend out your concealer. And boom, 
we are highlighted and concealed. Yeah, girl. Moving on, I'm gonna use my True Match powder in the color Coco to contour with. Now, it looks a little strong here on camera, but I'm just popping it on generously to my cheekbones. And then in one second, right here, I'm taking a large Real Techniques powder brush that has no extra product on it, and I'm buffing out that bronzer and dragging the product up into my temples, down along my jawline, and on my chin. Moving right on to blush, I'm using a Milani Baked Blush in Rose d'Oro and popping that on to the apples of my cheeks. And then after we have our blush applied, the magic happens with the blending brush. You wanna grab a blending brush, a stippling brush, and just blend everything together so that you have no lines and everything just melts into each other. And then lastly, we just have our lips, so I am just going to use a lip pencil from Rimmel. I do believe the name is Eastside Snob, but I'm not sure, but again, that info will be in the bottom bar. And I'm just going to follow the natural shape of my lips, filling everything in, and try not to break your pencil like I did. And you can totally leave your lip like this if you want it to go for that matte look that's very in. But I'm going to add a little bit of gloss, and this is a butter gloss from NYX, just to finish off the look. Okay, so I know this is controversial, but I'm gonna curl my lashes after I apply mascara really carefully because I'm a boss. And it makes a huge difference, see? <laughs> so after you curl your lashes, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I have a few outfits that I'd like to share with you guys, so if you wanna keep watching, those will be up in a second. Oh, and if you're wondering how I wear my hair, yeah, I would totally rock the half up and down bun. It takes me about a 100 times to get it right, but I get it right. Okay, so for our back to school outfits, I am totally into plaid. I am loving it. So I found this cute plaid crop top from Forever 21 that I just paired with a black tank and a skater skirt. And then I tied it up for a more girly vibe, but feel free to leave it untied and be a rebel. And then I just paired it with some little booties that I found from Forever 21 as well. My next outfit may look really hot to you, uh, but it's not that hot. The shirt is from Nasty Gal, and it's actually pretty sheer, so it's lightweight. My jeans are from Topshop, and my cute little boots are from Steve Madden. I believe they're the ASAP boots. I did get them last year, but if you want something similar, Timberlands does make a boot that looks exactly like this. I like this outfit because it's laid back, it's comfy, but you still look pulled together, and you still look like you cared when you got up and got dressed this morning. And my last look is super duper chill, which is what you'll catch me in daily. I'm just wearing a pair of leggings, a comfy shirt, and a pair of high top Nikes with a flannel wrapped around my waist. I like the flannel around my waist because I get cold easily and it's just super convenient to have it there. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.